Hello, for this video, I'm just going to give you the step-by-step -step guide to completing section two of the FAFSA through the Nitro College FAFSA guide. So here you can see step two is the student financial information. This is just on your taxes and it is 14 questions. So for 32, it is going to ask if you completed your taxes. Obviously you would select whichever one. And then if you didn't and are not going to, you would just skip to question 38. So question 33 and 34 is what kind of tax return did you file? So it's going to ask if you did the IRS 1040, a foreign tax return or a tax return within another territory. And then for 34 is also kind of self-explanatory. It's going to ask what your status is. So single is what you would put if you were a dependent. If you live alone and you're single, you would put head of household. And then obviously if you're married, you would select either the joint return or filing separately. So for 35, it's going to ask if you are or have filled a uh, Schedule 1 report. That is basically if you just have any income adjustments that can't be on the 1040. So for question 36, it's going to ask for your adjusted gross income. It could also be called AGI. If you have a spouse, you will have to add theirs as well. It will also tell you how to find it. Usually uh, it'll say this amount is found and then wherever it would be. So question 37 is the same as 36. It's just income tax this time. Question 38 and 39 would be how much you earned working in 2020 and then how much your spouse earned working in 2020. I believe if you don't have a spouse, you would just put zero. So question 40 is going to ask how much you have currently in your bank saving and checkings account. This does not include financial aid. This question is here just to see your current financial situation. So question 41 and 42 are just going to be your net worth. This will be in investments and current business or investment farms. If they are in negatives, you would just put zero. Question 43 is just putting in additional financial information that may help understand your current financial situation. Question 44 is basically on any untaxed income. And then you'll get to step three. That's where it asks more about student status.